Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Huge video today because we're going to be going over the rewards that you get in Clan Wars. That's right, Clan Wars. Uh, absolutely insane. I think this is the coolest thing that has hit Clash Royale since since it came out almost. I want to say since it came out, but I, I, I'm going to leave my room for... I don't know. Is there something else that came out that was really cool? The, the league is pretty cool. But this is pretty cool. Like, this is insane. I can't even tell you a time when my clan has been more involved in the game than right now. I mean, everybody's jacked up. We're watching each other's battles. We are watching, like, everything that's going down. I keep checking my stinking game. I don't, I haven't even played on ladder. I haven't played a challenge. I keep checking the war to see how we're doing. It's absolutely insane. So I kind of wanted to go through the rewards that you actually do get when you start winning these things because it's kind of antiquated it's kind of a, it's a little bit of a complex system it's simple but it's complex at the same time in that they haven't come out with anything really telling you what you get from actually winning these wars so i'm going to kind of go through it and compare it to the clan chest itself hopefully we can work through this thing i have a name for this segment it's going to be oh my gosh what is it going to be what is it going to be what is it going to be night owl explains it all no, that, that name sucks. I'll keep working on the name. Okay, obviously, I, I gotta work on the name. Uh, Brandon explains it all? No, I don't think we're gonna use that either. Okay, so we're, figuring, we're gonna figure out a name here for this segment. Um, it's gonna be pretty sweet. <laughs> Alright, so let me just kind of walk you through it. Obviously, you guys had the preparation day already. Uh, they call it the collection day. Now, keep in mind, when you go through the collection day, um, when you're collecting your trophies, you have your... Um, cards that you collected this is what we collected in our clan all these cards the more people you have in the clan obviously the more cards that you are gonna get and the better they do in the battles just I mean you're even gonna get more cards okay keep in mind and I don't know if this has been noted in a lot of places but where you are at in trophies on ladder actually dictates the amount of cards that you get per win or per loss and so if you're up there in the 4,000 to 4899 trophy range then you're going to be getting 160 cards per win and 80 cards per loss. And then just look at the, I'll just throw this chart up here. Where is it at? Take a look at that. Then you can see exactly how many cards you're going to be getting for your clan on collection day. Forget that. Okay. Let's get to battle day. That's the day that we're on right now in my clan. You're going to sail to an island. Okay. There's going to be four other boats there. Four other clans that you are competing against. For example, my clan right now are competing against these four little cute little cute little clans and we happen to be in first place we have 18 battles left so we're doing not too shabby not too shabby uh, we do have the most wins but keep in mind they still have battles left so they could come back and beat us that's perfect when you do do your battles you are not necessarily battling against these other clans here so gamer central clash collab alchemic elixir the knights <laughs> that's not who we're playing against when we do our battles so we do our battles against pretty much everybody uh that's in a clan war thing right now well i just spilled some i'll be back we're doing these against everybody can you imagine if you were only trying to battle these people on your island the queue would be forever so smart as supercell was they decided to circumvent all the waiting that you would face by pushing that battle button and only battling these people by letting you battle everybody, which isn't a big deal. I think that's awesome because then hypothetically and theoretically, I guess theoretically, not hypothetically, but you could all get like 50 wins. Chances are slim, but that's, that could happen. One more thing to note, look at our clan here. There is a couple people that had two battles and that's only to compensate for the discrepancy in the amount of players in each clan on the island. So that's going to happen from time to time where you're randomly going to get a couple people in your clan who's going to have two battles to play with. That's awesome. I think that's cool. So even things out, overall you're still going to have the same amount of battles. Now, what are we doing this for? What are we even, what are we even fighting for? What, are, what What's our goal here? Now, if you notice right here, they have these leagues. If you select the island, they have all these leagues that are pretty cool. So you have the Bronze League, Silver League, BAM! Gold League, Legendary League. They're all pretty awesome. But what does it mean? What does it mean? Right now, you're in Bronze League because you're just starting out. Okay? And I have this cool sheet here that kind of explains everything. And I'm going to try and get uh, explain it all to you the best I can. Um, you want to win. All right? 
First, second place on the island get trophies. First place gets 100 trophies. Second place gets 50 trophies. After that, you get no trophies right now. As you work your way up in the leagues, uh, so up here in the Legendary League, for example, if you get fifth place, you're going to lose 100 trophies, okay? Which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. It helps compensate things just like ladder, all right? If you get third place even, you're going to lose 25 trophies up in Legendary League, okay? And it kind of just somewhere in the middle. So if you're like silver, you actually only lose 10 trophies in silver one if you get third place. But no matter what, if you win, you get 100 trophies. So you're just going to want to win, pure and simple, okay? Don't mess around. One more thing to note, each win that your team gets in battle, so we have 20 wins right now, so we would get an additional 20 trophies to help us climb. And that's what this, this purple uh, trophy thing here is over. If you go over here to your thing, that's that's what this little purpy tr purple trophy is. That's going to keep track of your clan's trophies for you, and then you're going to be up inside the leagues. Now, what do you get from those leagues? All right, so let's go over here, back to the clan war thingy. Bam, so what do you get? So you're in bronze one. Boom, that's what you're starting out at. What are the rewards, man? They promised it was gonna be better than clan chess. It is, okay? Don't you worry. So now, I don't know if you guys saw this, but when you won each battle as a bronze player, on your collection day, you got 100 gold for winning each battle. If you won your battle day battle, your war battle, you got 200 gold. So that's a grand total of 500 gold you got just from the victory battles. Now, hypothetically, you can play, keep with me now, Seven battles, seven, oh, seven, seven wars per season because war season is two weeks. So hypothetically, you can play seven wars with your clan per season and get 3,500 victory gold, which is awesome. That's just, that's just on top. That's just on top of the chest. That's, we're not even talking about the chest yet, okay? If you are over in legendary, what is, so if you're in legendary league, you have a potential to get 8,750 gold just because each Win that you get on collection days worth 250 gold, and each win that you get on war days worth 500 gold. Pretty sweet. Now, I do hope that they increase the amount of battles we get, blah, blah, blah. That's going to be sweet. All right, so let's talk about those chests now. <laughs> you might as well. There's five different degrees of chest, actually, only four different degrees of chests that you can get within each league bronze, silver, gold, legendary league. And the chest is dictated by the position or the rank that you get in the war that you did during that season. Now, there's a couple things to explain here. If you only do one war per season, then that's the chest that you're going to get. So let's say that you are in Bronze League and you got third place in that war. You're going to get a Bronze third place chest. Okay? Real simple. If you played seven wars that season, seven wars, which you can do, and you got second place in one of them, fourth place in one of them, fifth place in one of them because you're crazy like that, then you're going to get the second place chest because that was the best finish that you had throughout that season. Also, if you happen to move up and get up into silver, silver third, let's say silver, let's say you get silver third, one of those chests, then you're gonna get the silver third chest, okay? That's just that's just how it's gonna work. You're gonna get the best chest finish that you personally got in the war that you personally participated in, if that makes sense. Hopefully that does. Wow. Kind of complicated, but not really. Okay? So the best finish that you got through that whole season in your clan, that's the chest that you are gonna get. Now you have to participate in the war. If your clan wins a war and you didn't participate, you don't get the chest if they won't got first place that war. You only get the chest of the war that you participated in, which is pretty dope. Okay, it means you have to participate, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, now let's talk about the rewards, okay? So, what Supercell has done on these chests is they've actually minimized the amount of commons that you're getting in these chests. So you actually do get less commons per chest versus the clan chest, which is... I don't know, kind of good because your commons are going to come no matter what through the rest of the chest. So this is their way of balancing the rest, the epics and the air, the, the rares. I think it's pretty cool. Now, you have one out of a 10 chance. If you get first place in the bronze league, you have one out of 10 chance of getting a legendary. If you get first place in silver league, you have one out of five chance of getting a legendary. If you get first place in gold league, you have one out of three chance of getting a legendary. And if you get first place in a legendary league 
you're guaranteed a legendary. Okay, so <laughs> so if your clan's good enough to climb up to legendary, and then you guys get whatever first place every two weeks, then you're guaranteed a legendary every two weeks, which is pretty sweet. And then you get a buttload of epics, buttload of rares. I think it's pretty sweet. All the <laughs> if you compare this to the the clan chest, then you get oh my gosh in legendary just because of the way the victory gold, as far as the victory gold and the clans and the lee and the chest and everything. In Legendary Arena, if you get first place, you end up getting 9,920 more gold than you would a clan chest, which is like almost 10,000 gold more, okay? Not to mention you're almost guaranteed a Legendary every two weeks, which is awesome, and you get 10 more epics per chest. Oh my gosh, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. You get less commons, especially in the lower leagues like Bronze, Silver. You get way less commons, but starting at like Bronze first place, the chest is already better than the, the Tier 10 clan chest. All right, if you look at this little, I'm sure people put out graphs. I'll put up a little snippet right here too, because I got to. Anyway, so sweet, so sweet. I think this is the coolest thing ever. I think uh, they did a real bang up job with this whole update. I mean, you could be out there grinding for crowns right now, but nah, mm -mm, girlfriend, you are kidding. <laughs> you're, you're getting to like participate with your clan and you're actually building camaraderie, which I think is pretty awesome. You're building a rapport with your clan mates. I, I haven't talked this much in clan chat ever, like literally ever. Let's see how we're doing. I don't think anybody's played in a little bit, but we're still doing good here in the war. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you my first ever war attack. You guys can watch this thing go down. <laughs> All right, here I am jumping into my very first war attack. I'm super excited because <laughs> I'm just stressed out. This is a lot of pressure. It reminds me back of the Clash of Clan days when you used to be able to, you know, show your team what you're made of type of thing, okay? Luckily for me, I was facing this soul assassin guy who, he's a great guy. He really is a great guy. And are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna comment a little bit on the emotes? Like I think the emotes are absolutely the sickest thing ever. Um, I don't think I've ever been laughed at so much in my life and been able to laugh at other people now as much as a, like, it's awesome. You can laugh at a lot. Like, you can just thumbs up, whatever. I love the emotes. The emotes are great. Um, being able to support your clan. I wish you could say oops. <laughs> <laughs> the oops emote is what you need. Anyway, so I'm throwing it down against Soul Assassin here with my... I think this deck is absolutely sweet. I mean, this deck, these are the cards that we got. And one tip that I think, obviously, is do not use the underleveled cards. If you have level 3 epics, and you know, and you know you're in a 50 clan more, don't use the level 3 epics if you have level 4 epics. Because you know the other clans you're facing against are going to be using the level 4, maybe level 5 epics, which is insane. We had level 5 Skarmy in our clan, and a lot of people used it because it was level 5. And that was a smart thing to do, I think. And so I'm able to take this guy down a little bit. We have a bunch of people. See, see how many people are watching uh, just from our clan. Normally, we don't have anybody watching our matches. Like, if I'm playing on the ladder and stuff, I have a couple people watching. But normally, I don't give a patooey about <laughs> sometimes, I'm going to be honest, sometimes the other people in my clan who are playing. And so it is what it is. And I feel bad saying it, but I didn't care at all. All right? But now I do. I do. I do care. I do care. I care about how well they're doing, I care about their moves they're making, and I might, you know, I might say a thing or two about their battle afterwards now, where I didn't before. I might have to, like, oh, tell them not to play that card or whatever, you know? So it's actually more of a team game, which I think is absolutely awesome. Way better than the clown chest. Hey, go get some crowns. Hey, you, go get some crowns. It was, it was a grind, okay? It was horrible. And I thought that this was definitely the better way to go. I mean, just... I mean, can you, I mean, the complexity in this thing is absolutely insane that they put this all together just to replace the clan chest, basically. <laughs> this is insane. Absolutely insane. And I'm so excited to see, I mean, because we're going to grow as a clan. We're going to grow, uh, obviously, we're going to get better and we're going to start doing wars more effectively. You're really going to have to lean on, I mean, you're going to have to recruit, I think, for wars. I think you're going to have to start building your clan up. Uh, for people that are ready to do like wars and start actually competing in your in, and do good, so I know there's clans out there that are undefe undefeated. We're not undefeated, obviously yet, 
but maybe one of these wars we will be. Anyway, so obviously, Soul Assassin, able to put that away. My very first uh, clan battle was a win, which I'm excited about. <laughs> it's for so sweet. Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. If you like what you saw, be sure and subscribe. Take it easy, and good luck. Peace. Thank you.